Uh, Mr. Sessions, I have a copy of the transcript of your testimony before the Senate Judiciary Committee in October. You stated under oath, I don't recall, in some form or fashion, 29 times. Is that correct? I have no idea. I have a copy of the transcript of your testimony before the Senate Intelligence Committee in June. You stated under oath, I don't recall, in some form or fashion, approximately 36 times. Is that correct? I don't know. Uh, in your testimony today, you have stated, I don't recall, at least 20 times. Is that fair to say? I have no idea. Now, on October 4th, 2016, during a TV interview with Lou Dobbs, you criticized Hillary Clinton for telling FBI investigators, I can't remember, approximately 35 times. You also stated during that Lou Dobbs interview that the intentional failure to remember can constitute perjury. Uh, Mr. Mr. Attorney General, do you still believe that the intentional failure to remember can constitute a criminal act? It, if it's an uh, uh, act to deceive, yes. Okay. Now, you testified in January that you had no contact with Russian operatives during the Trump campaign. Earlier today, you testified that your story has, quote, never changed. Is that correct? That was your testimony earlier today, that your story has never changed, correct? I believe that's um, fair to say. Okay, we might could, it, we've added, added things that I did not recall at the time. Right. So um, my March. statement at the time was my best recollection of the circumstances. And uh, I, as things are brought up... Uh, Claiming my time, I understand. All right. Uh, sir, you now acknowledge uh, meeting with Ambassador Kislyak during the Republican National Convention, correct? I remember I made a speech. He came up to me afterwards. I was standing in front of the speaker program and a uh, good chat with him. Okay, uh, thank you. An and you also- encounter, not a meeting. It was just a, uh, an encounter at that time. Okay, and you also uh, met with the ambassador in September of 2016 in your office, as you've acknowledged, correct? He asked for an appointment. I had two senior staffers, both full colonels in the United States Army, retired in, now you in the testified, meeting with I'm sorry. You testified in June before the Senate Intelligence Committee that you had not heard even a whisper about possible Russian involvement in the Trump campaign. Yet we understand that you attended this March 31st uh, meeting where George Papandopoulos talked about potential communications with Russian operatives. Uh, but also, according to your third quarter 2016 FEC filing, you hosted a Trump campaign dinner meeting on June 30th, 2016 at the Capitol Hill Club. Is that right? That's correct. I and your Senate re-election campaign paid for that meeting. Is that right? Uh, I, I think that may be so. Okay. And Carter Page and I, George Papandopoulos both attended that June 30th meeting, correct? That has been reported. And at that meeting, Carter Page told you that, the, that he was going to Moscow in a few days. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Uh, That's, um, and he, thank you. Um, thank you. He said it was a brief meeting as he was walking out the door. I don't recall that conversation, but uh, I'm not able to dispute it. And Understood. Reclaiming my time, I've got limited uh, time available. That is not, uh, does that uh, establish a, uh, some sort of improper contact? I think with you understand. Russians? I think you understand. He's that. not Russian either. You, you know. understand, sir. I get to ask the questions. You provide the answers in this capacity. You're no longer in the United States Senate. Uh, you voted in 1999 to remove Bill Clinton from office on charges of perjury, correct? That is correct. Uh, and connection. Well, there are other charges. I'm. I voted simple, uh, simple for question. impeachment, yes. Yes, understand. To remove him, actually, impeachment's in the House. In connection with that vote to remove President Clinton from office, you gave this speech on the Senate floor on February 29th, 1999. And in it, you acknowledged uh, that while serving as U.S. attorney, you once prosecuted a young police officer who lied in a deposition. And in that speech, you decided to prosecute that young police officer, even though he corrected his testimony. Now, you testified under oath before the Senate Judiciary Committee in January. You subsequently corrected that testimony in a March 6 written submission and have been forced repeatedly to come back to the Senate and now the House 
to clarify, when explaining your vote on the Senate floor to remove Bill Clinton from office, you stated that you refused to hold a president accountable to a different standard than the young police officer who you prosecuted. Let me be clear. The Attorney General of the United States of America should not be held to a different standard than the young police officer whose life you ruined by prosecuting him for perjury 